What's going on gamers, Battlestate Game has been posting pictures of the new content that is coming in 12.12 patch and I know some of you don't have Instagram or you just don't follow the game that closely but you probably would be interested in such thing so today I'm gonna show you a few of the screenshots that Battlestate Games has posted. So in the latest screenshot we can see this is one of the first if not the first Scar Age screenshot in the game that is how it's going to look. We got a new scope on top it's Vortex Razor HD that's how it looks in real life. I'm gonna be honest in my opinion according to the screenshot this scope looks absolutely amazing it has a really unique color and not many attachments in the game will be able to match that scope correct me if i'm wrong i'm not really a professional in terms of guns but it seems like it will have three different fire modes here also uh, i'm gonna remove my face here also we can see the new puffer jacket coming to the game that's probably not the Sturman's puffer jacket, but it actually could be. Maybe in the new patch there's going to be a quest which will require you to kill Sturman like a certain amount of times and you'll be able to get this jacket. And in the background we can see a part of lighthouse map, but uh, I don't really see anything special in this screenshot. Okay, in the second screenshot we got USP. 99% of you probably know what kind of pistol that is. It's going to use 45 ACP caliber in game. That to me like, looks like a new suppressor. I don't think I've seen such a pistol suppressor in game. And in the background, we can see a part of some kind of hangar inside of Lighthouse. This one looks pretty cool. It looks pretty legit, but in terms of gameplay, I don't really see uh, a lot of cover in that place. It's going to be a tough place to fight. So up next, we got the screenshot with a double barrel shotgun. Double barrel shotgun. A lot of people have been waiting for it for a long time. So everyone excited. We got this uh, beautiful art on the wall on top of chimney, I assume. And that's probably a certain location inside of Lighthouse as well. And the last screenshot I'm going to show you today. Here we got the revolver shotgun because of my in-depth knowledge of uh, guns, weapons, and how to read the Instagram comments. I was able to find out that this is uh, MTS-255, a Russian shotgun fed by five round internal revolving cylinder, which looks like this in real life and can use uh, a lot of different types of ammo, actually. Not gonna lie, in game it looks way better than it looks in real life, so uh, I'm actually excited to use it and see how the revolver mechanics are gonna be worked. This is gonna be the first gun with a revolver mechanic in Escape from Tarkov. Also, somebody in my Discord sent this screenshot, I mean, picture of a screenshot, which might be a leak or might be a fake leak, I don't really know. But I'm gonna zoom in and show you this is RPD, RPD machine gun. I don't know if it's coming next patch or maybe it will come to the game into the future. But uh, according to this screenshot, some of the files of it are in the game already. But as I said, this is not 100% trustworthy. Just somebody just randomly sent this screenshot to my Discord. Cannot wait for you guys to discuss all those weapons in the comments to this video. And since I barely know anything about weapons, maybe you can tell me something interesting. So I, as a Tarkov streamer, can be more of a gun person and actually understand what I'm playing and what I'm doing. And I read all your comments, so uh, don't forget to leave a comment. Tell me what you think about all that new stuff. Don't forget to stay hydrated and enjoy the rest of the video. I also had a pretty crazy lapse raid earlier that I think you would have been proud of. Really? Good job, man. I'm proud of you. Ocean, I am proud of you. I can't believe Command is up and left us here. What a do though. What a do though.
revive some hummus with your pita and chill. Nah, guys, hummus. Hummus is a great thing. Do you find PvP is better solo? PvP is definitely easiest as a duo. But solo... Solo makes it... Uh, you get, like, the best place when you're playing solo. Oh, I love olive, olive oil, guys. This, this shit's amazing. I make olive oil when it's the season. Wait, you make olive oil yourself? With movement or no, bro? I gotta know. I remember when I was in school, we had computer science, right, in school. But, like, computer science is a too sophisticated word for that. It was just us basically doing basic stuff on computers. And we had a... We had a task uh, for a lesson to do like a presentation cartoon, okay, chat? And we could like choose any topic that we would want to. So I made a, I made a cartoon. It was about Russia being extremely strong and America weak. So I pull up, there's like cartoon character, like a tiny, tiny office clerk businessman with a business uh, suitcase. And, and I had the text, typical American. And then I had a cartoon character that looks like Johnny Bravo, fucking bodybuilder. And I'm like, typical Russian bogatir. And the, the, the whole cartoon about was about Russia being extremely strong and Americans weak. And I had the Russian anthem playing throughout the whole video. Yo, this guy is good, chat. <laughs> DG man, it was me. I just killed you on customs. Check stream for proof. Live on twitch.tv slash bikizi. I was close, yeah, he almost, <laughs> he almost got me. He has been watching Red to Glory. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out the other videos on the channel listed right here.